What is up guys, it's Oxy Beatmaker here with another video and uh, it's how to make good beats using the app called Oxy. Now this app you can download it off the app store, it's free. Just type in Oxy in the search bar and uh, an app should pop out with a little triangle, a green one, and it should say Oxy Beatmaker. So you can go download that if you don't have it already. And if you're just looking at this app, and if you already have the app and you're wondering how to make good beats, well, you're at the right place. Because I'm going to be showing you today how to make good beats. Now, uh, as you see here, I have a song laid out. And this song is, I mean, it's not one of my best songs, but it's, it's an okay song just to start off start off um, the app. And they, they give you three songs whenever you come into the app. But first, we're just going to start off with the song that I made. Um, it took me around 20 to 30 minutes to make it. Now, I'm not, I'm not saying all your songs are going to take that long to make, but, um, if you're trying to make good songs, I suggest that you take only 30 minutes trying to, um, make your song and revise it and make it real nice. But, uh, let's go on to the song. On the first, I'm going to show you how the song sounds like, and then after that, I'm going to show you how I made it. I'm going to make a new one. So, uh, let's listen to it. So as you can see, that was my uh, song that I made, and it um it, it was sort of complex. It wasn't like amazingly super complex as some of other people you might see on YouTube. But this uh is one of the more I would not I wouldn't say advanced, but medium songs to make. It it does have a little drop in there. Yeah, let's get rid of this thing. It's annoying. Anyways, yeah, it does have a little drop in there, and. I'm gonna show you how to make one. So let's just let's just um, name this one tutorial, right? We can name that one tutorial. And what we're gonna be doing is for the drop. If you wanna know how to do the drop, let's just I like what I like doing is putting the the three beats that are gonna lead up the drop right here on these three spaces right here. So this first one would be right here. One, two, you're gonna get four beats right there. And uh, that's just, that's just uh, whenever you're, the song is just starting. Now when it starts going to the medium, into the, more into the song, you're gonna put, skip just one instead of like three. You're gonna skip, you're just gonna skip one. I leave them like that, and then after that, all you gotta do is get get your finger like this and drag it across the whole thing, and it'll um, 
create a whole bunch of pieces like that, all right next to each other. So, whenever you play them in order, whenever you're, the, the song is on, whenever you play them in order, it's going to sound like this. It's going to go. The second one. Then the third one. And then, once that one ends, once you end this one, you're going to play your drop beat that um, you want. So my, my beat that I dropped on was this one right here. That's the one I dropped on. So whenever I went like this, I stopped everything and did that. I stopped everything into that one, and um, then I let into my beats like this. I let into my beats. So that's how I did mine. So let's start off with uh, a beat that you like, which is going to be your main beat that you're going to always be using in your song. So if you want a, like a, a nice steady beat, a, a good way to start off is just with one skip three, one skip three, one skip three, and then one. So it is just a good bit to start off, and it gets you, you know, in the mood. Then, what, you, what you're going to want to do is go here, find the ones like, this is a different beat right here. These, these two bottom ones are beats right here. This one is like a low beat. This one's a higher beat. So... They sound they sound different. That one sounds like if you're trying to drum on a band. Um, I don't know. I, I really don't know what it sounds like. But um, there's there's also there's also these right here. They have different stuff. So you find a place where you like it. So. going on now, and there's some other, some other stuff right here, and in the new Oxy beat maker update, we have now narrow, so we have narrow, and as you see here, it says narrow, lets you draw shorter notes, so the shorter notes here, see, they're, they're uh, twice as small as the regular notes, so uh, if we want to make Let's say we want to make a little, you know, like if, it's, if the guy's drumming real fast, you can make him go like this. You got like that. So. so now we made a little, we made a little thing now, and we also have soft. You tap notes to make them soft. So let's say we we want this one to be softer. You can't really hear it as much. Exactly. You can't really hear it as much, and that's good if you're using notes that like overload other notes. So, like for instance, if you have this note up here, and it's really loud, right? You put the soft. You put it soft, and now you can can't really hear it as much but you can still hear it and it's good whenever you have notes that are really loud like that and you want, and you want them in your song but you don't want to hear them too much so that's uh, a good option for the soft feature so now that we have our beat going on here let's just add a couple more we don't like that one do we Okay, so now that I have a little beat going now, we can go to our bass, and we have our wide, uh, well, not a wide range of bass to pick from, but we have some. So we can, let's pick Blast, because I like Blast. Come here to your synths. There's two synth ones. There's this synth on the right side that's orange, and the synth on the left side that's pink or red if you're... You see different colors differently, and there's a wider range of 
in so you can, or leads, as you would, they call them, I call them since, um, so, let's start off with the blast, let's, let's stop this one real quick, let's go to blast real quick, and let's, let's start with, um, let's start with this bar right here. So, as we see here, we have a little beat going, but, let's not do that now, if we want to extend it and change it change it to um, a different part in, in the same uh, section, we can have two sections now, and it changes, so, so now it's different, when it changes in this one, it goes low and then higher and if you want to change it even more add, we can add four bars there's no option for three bars but there's an option for four bars so now we have if, if we add our beat now So now we have a little beat going. Now, here's another one we could do a lead called Lemon. Let's try uh, some lemon. So, we can uh, do a little beat that starts up here because we already have some low stuff on, on the bass. Now to select them, you can drag your finger like this, and you make a box. Also, if you want to extend it, you got this. And as you see, it makes an extended note. And um, if you want to copy all this, you get it. You can place your finger on where you want it, and it creates another one. Obviously, you don't want that. To erase it, you just click on one of them. And um, once you click on the one, that just click on one of them, and it'll erase them all. going. I'm not sure if I like this one too much, but we'll just rock with it for a little bit. So you can make extended, extended notes. And See? So now we have a little song going on. So... Now all we have to do is add this one right here, but we're not going to do that yet. Come, um, if you guys come to my next tutorial, we will see how to incorporate the drop. We're going to add a drop into our little, um, we're going to add a drop into our little synths and leads. And then after that, we will uh, show you, I'll show you the beat I'm going to make here, a beat. We're actually going to make two different drops uh, for this one. It's a little bit more advanced, but you guys will still get it. And we're going to have, we're going to take use of these, like I'm saying. We also might want to make uh, another beat next time. So uh, subscribe for the next video that's going to be coming out on how to make oxy beats. And um, like this video if you really liked it and enjoyed it. And if you really found it helpful, I will make more of these in the future regarding uh drops beats and stuff like that so ex and explaining the app so um thank you for so much for your time and oxy beat maker out